What's going on, all you minties? On Kenny Omar here from Near Mint Condition, the home of collected editions. And join me today as I talk about the last week of May of 2023 for collected editions. So join me. The week of May 30th from Marvel Comics, it's the return of Sgt. Fury, Epic Collection, Berlin Breakout. Collecting Sergeant Fury 20 to 36. It's been years since we've had one of these. And Annuals 1 and 2. I just started reading it uh, this past week. She-Hulk Epic Collection, The Cosmic Squish Principle. Steve Gerber, joined by uh, Simon Furman and Brian Hitch. I believe that is a Del Keown cover, if I'm not mistaken. Or is, looks like a Del Keown cover. Uh, collecting She-Hulk 13 through 30. And material for Marvel Super Heroes number 5. Star Wars Legends Epic Collection, the original Marvel Years, Volume 6, collecting issues 89 and uh, through 107, and then Star Wars 108, which came out, that one came out in 2018, 2019, I believe. Marvel Masterworks, The Amazing Spider-Man, Volume 1, this is the Remasterworks era. I've done an overview on the channel already, an advanced look on the channel if you want to check out that video. Both covers coming out that same day. I did a comparison to the previous printing and then the Omnibus editions. Um, this collects Amazing Fantasy 15, as well as Amazing Spider-Man 1 through 10. X-Men Dark Phoenix Saga, getting a new trade paperback edition, collecting issues 129 to 137. X-Force by Benjamin Percy Hardcover. This collects issues 50 through 26 and Wolverine number 13. Um, Captain Marvel by Kelly Thompson, Omnibus Volume 1. This one has 736 pages and retails for $100. Daredevil Omnibus Volume 2. This is $100, 800 pages, collecting 42 to 74 of Daredevil, Iron Man 35, and then material uh, from Iron Man number 36. Both covers available the same day. She-Hulk by Rainbow Rowl Volume 2, Gen of Hearts. Uh, collecting the latest issues of Rainbow Rowl's run, 6 through 10. Luca Maresca is the artist. Jim Bartel supplying the covers. X-Men 92, the saga continues. So this collects X-Men 92, 1 through 4. X-Men 92 from 2016, 1 through 10. And then X-Men 92, House of 92, 1 through 5. That, that was surprisingly really good. Carnage, Volume 2, Carnage and Hell from Rom V. Collecting issues 6 through 10 of Carnage. And from the world of DC Comics, we're getting The Power of Shazam Book 2. I don't have an advanced copy of this, but it is in trade paperback, whereas the first one was in hardcover, but at least we're getting it. Uh, $39.99, 424 pages, collecting uh, Showcase 96, Superboy Plus, number one, Supergirl Plus one, Superman Man of Tomorrow 4, Power Shazam 13 through 23, and Power Shazam Annual from 1996. Steel, a celebration of 30 years, is coming out in hardcover format, collecting Action Comics number 4, 30 years of Steel, pretty much. Adventure of Superman number 500, so his first appearance. And that one is $49.99. Static Season 1 is coming out this time around in trade paperback format, collecting Season 1, 1 through 6 of Static Shock. From the world of manga, we are getting the Do Not Say Mystery Omnibus is coming out that week. That is being published by Seven Seas Entertainment. Uh, we're also getting the Fire Force Omnibus Volume 4, so continuing Fire Force. This one collects issues 7 through 9. So is it just two volumes and then they decided to do three? Polar Bear Cafe. Oh my gosh, of course, yes. That's, that's brilliant. Polar Bear Cafe. Uh, why would you not want to eat there? Parallel World Pharmacy, Volume 1. That one's being published by One Piece. P-E-A-C-E, -E, by the way. Peace. Not peace, like the One Piece. Uh, we're also getting Witches of Atomos, Volume 5, coming out that very same week. And that one is being published... Now... It's a medicine, right? It's a medicine. I, what the hell was I saying? Uh, uh, which is a uh Volume 5. Ghost Ship. Ghost Ship is publishing that one. Okay, that makes sense. Ghost Ship is uh, hentai. 
Uh, Ms. Kobayashi's Dragon Maid Elma Diary Volume 7 is coming out. From the world of Dark Horse Comics, we are getting... Wow, we're getting a lot of stuff this week. EC Archives, Tales from the Crypt coming out. And this is coming out in hardcover format, so it's a reprint. Very good. I'm very, very good. I'm happy that these are coming back out. 29 through 34, in case you've never picked it up. $49.99, 216 pages. Blab Volume 1. I heard really good stuff about this. Coming stories that will make you blab. 112 pages, $19.99. That one is by Monty Beauchamp. Beauchamp. Murky World. I have done an overview of this one here. There's an introduction by Mike McNolan, but this is all by Richard Corbin. Resident Alien Omnibus, Volume 2, Peter Hogan and Steve Parkhouse. This is the stuff that, of course, um, it inspired the show right here. or That's what the show is adapting. Lot 13 by Steve Niles. I haven't seen Steve Niles on a book in a while. And Glenn Fabry? Really? Yeah, Preacher's Glenn Fabry drawing the internal artwork. So this was originally published by uh, DC Comics and is now being published by Dark Horse. Son of Ashgard. <laughs> this is uh, I'll meet I'll met in Elmgard. So this is is this an original comicsology? Chad Corey is the writer on this book. It is a uh, soft cover. Dot Self, Christopher Sabella and Kara McGee. That is a Comixology original uh, being published in paperback format. 144 pages, $22.99. The Roadie, Tim Seeley and Fran Galan. To, uh, that one is 1999, 104 pages. Collecting the Roadie 1 through 4. Lost Falls Volume 1. It's Kurt Pyers, uh, $22.99, 144 pages. Twin Peaks meets Lovecraft Country. Okay. Final Girls, Kara Ellison. I don't want to know anything about this guy. One of my favorite movies was Final Girl. I don't think it has anything to do with that, but it looks pretty interesting. Just that cover. BPRD, Omnibus Volume 5, Mike McNola, John Arcudi, Guy Davis, Tyler Crook, Dave Stewart. Just to name a few of the creators of this series. And the Omnibus, of course, are mapped different than the hardcovers. Navigator by John Bruno. It's a hardcover. For $24.99, 104 pages. Critical Role, The Mighty Nine Origins, Molly Malk, Tea Leaf. That was a mouthful by Jody Hauser. And this is a hardcover. $17.99, 56 pages. Uh, from the world of ADW, we have Will Eisner's The Spirit Artisan Edition. This is the paperback version for $39.99, 144 pages. Star Trek Picard, Stargazer. That's based on the TV show. And Star Trek Warriors of the Mirror War, $17.99. Star Trek The Mirror War, and that one is $24.99, and it is a paperback, 192 pages. From the world of Image Comics, we're finally getting the good Asian. 1936 Deluxe Edition coming out. Uh, Pornsack, Pichet. Pichette Chote, I think is how you pronounce their name. Uh, this is issues 1 through 10, and it is a hardcover edition, $39.99. Ice Cream Man, volume 9, and by Maxwell Prince, Martin Morazzo, and Chris O'Halloran are the creators behind that one. From Boom Comics, we're getting Fear, Faith, Fearless, Faithless, the hardcover edition, and the slipcase edition. Brian Azzarello and Maria Lovelet. Love it. Are the creators behind that book. Bandita, Dominican superhero graphic novel, is coming out that very same week. As well as Myth Adventures Collected Edition. That is being published by Airship Entertainment. 2 a.m. Eternal. And that's being published by Secret Acres. That cover looks busy, but it looks wicked cool. Eric Kostiuk Williams is the creator behind that book. And Big Nate TV series. Next stop, Superstardom. The Blue Flame is getting a complete series in trade paperback format. And that is, of course, by Vault Comics. That I did get an advanced copy of. Books of Clash coming out in hardcover format and in graphic novel format. Legendarius Ach Achievery? 
yeah, legendarious. Why did I say legendarious? Oh my gosh. Whew. I'm running out of steam here. I'm surprised to still have my voice. Ah, uh, this is published by First Second Books. And we're also getting By the Horns, Dark Earth Part 1. That is by Scout Comics. It looks like a really cool cover. Centra Centralia hardcovers coming out from Living the Line. They were kind enough to send me an advanced copy, and I need to get on that and start reading it. Cossacks, Volume 1, Winged Hussar uh, by Cinebooks. Darkwing is coming out in hardcover. This is by Heavy Metal Entertainment. Nothing to do with Darkwing Duck, by the way. And we're also getting Darla from Invader Comics coming out that very same week. Destroyer Duck. Now, this is really cool. This is a really cool collection here. This is by Tomorrow's Publishing. So, Steve Gerber and Jack Kirby. Uh, this is when Steve Gerber had a lawsuit against Marvel and he decided to take it on his own and get Jack Kirby to help him do a benefit book. Oh, it's such a weird time, but Destroyer Duck. It's pretty much Howard the Duck or a continuation of his stories without the name Howard the Duck. And After End is coming out that week. That is also from Vault Comics. And Fantagraphics is publishing the Fantagraphics Underground Brothers and Mothers hardcover edition. That one is $30. FG Teeve, or Fidge Teeve, not sure how to say it. Out of Time is coming out from Harper Alley. And Hexes Volume 2. And that is being published by Blue Fox Comics. Digging that cover. Jurassic Jeff Space Invader is coming out. Uh, Random House Graphics is publishing that book. Knee Deep, Volume 1, is coming out that week. And that is published by Oni Press. Listen Beautiful Marcia. And that is published by Fanagraphics. We're also getting the Metal Shark Bro 2 Assault on Hamzing Island. This is the new printing. Mindset, the complete collection, is coming out from Vault Comics. So I'm not sure if that was pre previously released as a trade paperback or thinner trades. Nightmare World, the complete collection, is coming out as well. Lots of complete collections. That one's being published by Source Point Press. My Bad, trade paperback volume 2, 30 Minutes or Dead, by Ahoy Comics. Northern Steel, that's an awesome title, by Sex Publishing. Out of My Head, Imaginary Creatures of Joseph Bach. It's coming out in hardcover format in this landscape format, too. Silver Age Classic Strange Journey hardcover format coming out, as well as the Slipcase Edition and Sinners Graphic Novel Volume 1 coming out that week. And we're also getting the Tao Bang. It's coming out in hardcover format, and that is being published by Magnetic Press. That looks killer. Undead? Undeaded? Undead Ed. Undead Ed. There, there, I said it. Both coming out in hardcover and in softcover edition. Valerian and Loreline, Volume 2, Where Stories Are Born. Those are being published by Cinebooks. And Humanoids, Weapons of Meta Baron, the Oversized Edition. So it's going to be Oversized. And those were the books coming out in May of 2023. Let me know in the comments down below what you're most excited for, uh, what you're hoping to see come out in June. And then come back on Sunday for my top 10 most wanted recommended reads. Damn, that's going to be hard. There's so many good books coming out. Smash that like button on the way out. Thank you so much. Again, apologies for my voice. Uh, feeling really groggy and tired and just whew, congestion, man. Hopefully it's just allergies. That's it, everyone. Stay healthy and safe. Thank you again to our patrons for making videos like this possible. Smash that like button on the way out. Bye.